Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Parvati Bhanu. I'm an ENT surgeon with specialization in management of voice related disorders and allergy disorders. As winter is around the corner, there is a flare up of the common allergy related disorders during the winter season. If we consider the year, the number of patients who visit us with an impacted wax is on a high during winter season. This is because the climate is very dry, leading to dryness of wax and accumulation of wax in the ears. This can be managed by using wax softeners and visiting the ENT specialist for further management. The other common ear problem which we see is patients who come with ear pain, ear discharge, ear block. This is known as acute otitis media, usually following an episode of cold and very common in children. This can be managed by a course of antibiotics and anti-inflammatory drugs. The number of allergy cases is also on a rise during winter season. This is because of the dry air, the allergens are suspended in the air for a longer duration and so there is increased rhinitis, sinusitis. If patients are unable to find what the culprit is, we have specialized tests known as skin prick test to find the causative factor and this can be followed by using local nasal steroid sprays, oral steroids, antihistamines and so on. This can also, uh, we can also improve the patient's immunity by having good hydration and supplements, especially vitamin C. The number of patients who come with increased throat pain, change of voice is also on a high and this is because of the flare-ups in tonsillitis, pharyngitis and laryngitis. This can be managed with antibiotics with good hydration. We have observed in recent years that during winter season, the number of patients who come with reflux gastritis is on a high. And this is because during winters, we land up having more of spicy, more of chatpat, more of fried foods, which leads to gastritis. And this leads to a reflux gastritis causing frequent throat pain, change of voice and cough. So try to maintain healthy habits like good hydration, supplements, wash hands especially after coming from outside and healthy food. Thank you.